All right, it's time for something new. We have a grease cell portable solar panel. It's 100 watts. Uh, some people may know from some other videos that I have a uh, EcoFlow Delta II uh, pa uh, portable power supply with an extra battery. So check my other videos about that. So I want to have at least some solar power to help augment the power that I get from the wall and our uh, generator. So if it, it, this is not enough to run our house, obviously 100 watts, but it's enough to at least mitigate some or provide a little bit more power to our uh, power supply when we need it to run the refrigerator and or my 3D printer. So uh, I thought about uh, getting the EcoFlow version, but it was more expensive and reviews on this one seemed to be better. It was cheaper and uh, good reviews, so I'm excited to go with this one. It should have a plug that's compatible with the EcoFlow. Uh, and uh, so we're going to open this up and see what's inside. So again, it's 100 watts. Got a 23% uh, efficiency rate. Let's move closer. 23% efficiency solar conversion rate. That's pretty good. It can provide 5 amps, which will uh, help uh, offset some of the. So, uh, power that we're using up when we're, we're running the refrigerator or whatever when there's a power outage. So let's go ahead and open this up. Let me open the end and slide it out. That way, if we need to return it for some reason, we can use the same box. All right, I didn't go with the more wattage. I mean, more wattage would make sense if I wanted to use this all the time. Uh, but um, since I don't, the higher wattage ones were uh, a lot bigger, obviously, and harder to move around. So I didn't want to do that. So it came nicely packaged with foam, and it's got a uh, plastic cover on it. Let's get that off. I'm going to try to preserve all the packaging here in case uh, it It's really windy now because uh, <laughs> it's windy out here. This, uh, not sure what this purpose of that is. On the back, oh, here's, uh, here's our user manual. That's good. So it's got a kick kickstand to stand up. Let me see part of the kickstand. And it talks about all the different kind of connectors it has, and so forth. So let's uh, flip it over here. Okay, this must be the place where the connectors are. Got. So this is where it connects to the solar panel, and then it's got this two types of plugs coming off of it, and then it's got various uh, plugs like this to plug into different types of power, and then it's got a Anderson power control, and I think this is the one that goes to the EcoFlow, I have to check that out. So I think you're supposed to... So I can connect this one together. Yeah, and then these other ones. I'm not sure what this is for. This is. Let's look at the manual, see which one is which, and uh, get it hooked up. All right. Maybe this is yeah. If you want to use these, it looks like you plug into this one. here and uh, turns out the reason I gave this out is because the power is actually off because it's a uh, power safety shutoff the local utility PG&E 
So I've got the 3D printer running off the battery. I'm going to hook up the fridge pretty soon. I wanted to see if I could augment some of the power with this thing. Let's see how it works. All right, well, the instructions say uh, plug, plug this cord into your device first and then plug it into this. So you unplug, the, unplug that part, this connector. I'll take this apart and get this a little more open here. And we'll figure out which one. I see, I'm pretty sure. This is some kind of weird Y connector here that all everything's connected together. So I'm pretty sure that this is the one that we're going to check. And we'll try hooking it up to the Delta V or the uh, EcoFlow Delta 2. All right, so let me check that out. All right, well, this is my first solar panel. So I just learned a bunch of stuff reading online. So these are MC4 solar panel cables. This is a standard, industry standard. And, um, if we'd bought a uh, EcoFlow uh, solar panel, then there would have been a connector from this uh, standard to the XT60, which is how you can, apparently the only way you can um, uh, DC charge an EcoFlow Delta II. So I sort of knew that, but I thought, it said it was compatible. I didn't uh, do enough research on it to find out whether it actually came with the actual cable that you need. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit more later. So, the reason there's two of these is because these can be daisy chained. So there's a male and a female. You can daisy chain them, and this is where the power comes out. So if I had another solar panel, I could plug it, plug the red red one of that into this one, and then it would uh, it would increase your power. Let's go take a look at the uh, charging inputs to the Delta Flow Delta uh, EcoFlow Delta Two, and then we'll understand what we need to do next. Earlier, there's a power outage right now, so I wanted to hook this up. Uh, but I'm doing a th I was starting doing a 3D print in the middle of the uh, power outage, so I wanted to keep it going. I'm also going to plug the fridge in in a second here. Uh, but um, so we have the the uh, 3D printer here. I've shown this in other videos. We have a, re a real G UPS uh, here, so in case the Delta II runs out of power or we have to disconnect it, then it'll actually switch over to using the internal power in this real UPS because the Delta II is not not guaranteed in my experience it doesn't work to uh, switch fast enough from wall power to uh, battery power and to keep computers running so it doesn't switch fast enough it says it's not it's not stand it's not um, compa it can't do that and, and that's that my experience is that's true now right, let's look at the back of the uh, Delta 2 so we have, the, we have extra battery on top that let, lets us run our fridge for eight hours and on the back there's, there's two charging ports. There's an AC charging port which is plugged in. Of course, there's no power from the wall right now. And there's this DC charging port, uh, which you can use to DC charge the uh, power supply. So, uh, I do have another video, which I'll uh, link below, where I, I showed how to charge this from your car. And I use this connector that does come with the Delta II. But there's no connector going from the Delta II to this uh, MC4 standard. Again, you'd have to buy a De uh, EcoFlow uh, um, solar panel to get that to work. Now, the other problem we have is is that uh, this is inside the garage. That's where I want to keep it. And our sunlight is outside the garage, at least uh, 15 feet away. And of course, it's, it's November now, so there's uh, not, not a lot of sunlight in this patio right now, but uh, if we had a 15 foot extension cord, or maybe 20 feet, I'll have to, I'll have to measure it. We could set it up on top of our uh, compost heap over here and we'd be getting sunlight. So, so the next step before we hook this up is we need to get an extension cord. And you can get extension cords that go from uh, MC4 to the XT60. So that's the kind of extension cord I'm going to get. <coughs> and then uh, we'll pick up this video again when that comes in. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming, and if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out, and keep looking up.